Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and today we're going to make a folder by hand for this B6 size traveler's notebook. It's from Walmart, it's the Pen and Gear brand, and it's approximately B6 size. It's about a half an inch wider than the typical B6 traveler's notebook. So I'm going to make a folder that size, and I'm going to use this sheet from the Pinkaboo paper pad. It's a hot buy paper pad from Michaels. I'm gonna need my paper trimmer and a scoreboard. So I'm gonna start off with the paper trimmer. I'm actually gonna use the full width of the paper, but I do need to trim off some off the bottom. So, I'm gonna trim this at 10 and a half. Let's see, I've seen people do it like this so you can see the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna score in the middle at six inches. I'm gonna score on either side a half an inch. So one half inch here, and at 11 and a half here. Then I'm gonna turn it with the top to the left, and I'm gonna score at seven. So top to the left, score at seven. So, half an inch, six inch, 11 and a half inches. So I'm gonna fold all my scores. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure about an inch in from the fold at the bottom and mark it with a pencil. Then I'm gonna take my take the ruler I'm gonna go ahead and draw the line so you can see what I'm doing from the mark that I just made to the first score line that's in the center I'm going to draw a line Oops, just lightly so see there barely can see it I'm gonna take my scissors and cut that piece out So when we open it up, this is what we have, the beginnings of our folder. Okay. Just erase that off of there. Try to. All right. So next I need to trim off the excess tab here. So usually I would measure this, so let's go ahead and measure it. I put my ruler at the score where the flat folds at or the pocket folds at and I'm going to measure up a quarter of an inch. And a quarter of an inch on the other side. You don't need to do this. It's just so that my miters are the same. If you're new to this and you can't, not sure about eyeballing it, it's best to measure it. So I put my little mark there and I'm going to cut from that mark to where the scores meet at an angle. So I have this angle here. And then I'm going to remove this piece of the tab from the bottom pocket area. It's been a long time since I've done a tutorial on this. So, yeah. So that's what it'll look like. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm cutting just along the edge of the score line. And then, oops. Cut this off here. Okay. So 
so far, this is where we're at. This will fold over like so. This will fold over like so. And I need to trim it a little bit more because I didn't trim enough outside of the score line. There we go. So now I can start burnishing things in place. Fold it over. Okay. Now, as you can see, if I glue these flaps down here this way, I won't have this extra room underneath the flap. But if I cut a little notch right here, I'll have be able to have my paper go all the way to the edge of the folder. That's totally up to you. Actually, you could just glue it right here, just like this. I usually make a little notch in this area. So what I do is on either side of where the top of the pocket is, I'll measure over a quarter of an inch approximately. <laughs> So let's do it. So quarter on this side, a quarter on that side, and then I mark where the center is. And the center would be where the top of the pocket is. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Same thing on the other side. And what that gives us is a little triangle notch to cut out so that our pocket contents will be able to go all the way to the edge of the folder. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut that little triangle out. Now again, you don't have to do this part. You could just glue those side tabs down and your folder is ready. flap down whatever I put in here can go all the way to the edge before it would have stopped here hope that makes sense so I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac because that's what I have here and I need to finish off this bottle it's kind of old so I'm going to glue down all of my flaps So if you wanted to, you could round your corners. I'm going to use a hole punch. So I'm going to take my crocodile and use it the, the large um, punch and put a little notch in the top of this folder right in the center. If I can line the paper up right. There we go. Okay. Like that. And what that does is it helps relieve some of the pressure from the band so that your paper is not likely as likely to rip. And you can also laminate these. Uh, but again, for these purposes, I'm not going to do that today. But I can link to a video that shows you how to do it. So I think I'm going to put the folder in the front. Here is the folder. It fits right in there just like that. Let's put the elastic back on. And that's how you can make a folder for your pen and gear traveler's notebook. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Don't forget to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.